हेर वी गो वी हैव ए क्वेश्चन लॉन्गेस्ट प्रीफिक्स सफिक्स सो इट इज मार्क एज हार्ड बट दिस क्वेश्चन इज नॉट दैट मच हार्ड सो यू हैव गिवन ए स्ट्रिंग ऑफ करेक्टर्स एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द लॉन्गेस्ट लेंथ ऑफ द प्रोपर प्रीफिक्स विच इज ऑल्सो ए सफिक्स सो आई होप यू आर फैमिलियर विद द प्रीफिक्स एंड सफिक्स so in this ab the uh, suffix is equal to the ab prefix so the longest we can have in this case is ab so here <clears throat> note here is we cannot take the whole string so we have three a's as prefix and three a's as suffix so the longest uh, prefix which is also a suffix is of length 3 in this case mm. so that's about the question let's build the approach so we have this test case and before going into the uh, approach i want to tell you something that this is a string comparison question so there are uh, three famous algorithms for string comparison first one is rabin karp next one is kmp and third one is z algorithm so you can apply any algorithm here and you will have at the end the correct answer so uh, in this question i will apply the kmp algorithm so let's talk about how to solve this question so for this we want uh, suffix which is also equal to prefix in this case it is clearly visible that the answer is 4 so let's find out for this uh, in the kmp algorithm in the kmp algorithm we have two pointers one name j pointing to 0 and one name i pointing to 1 so in this kmp algorithm we also have a array of length n so next step we have to find we have to find this uh, i pointer points to a character and we want to find this substring should match the prefix so that's our agenda in this case a and i and j is not equal so we just need to increment our i we will move forward and here uh, values are zero next i points to here this value and this value is also not equal so we just move forward a zero here so at this point i and j is equal so on this cell we will place a value so the value denotes the total length so total length till here total length till this index which is also equal to the prefix so what i mean is as you can see there is only a single character and on the prefix there is only a single character one so uh, the answer for this cell is one we have a single character so now we increment our j and we increment our i why we need to increment our j i will tell you now i and j increments so at this point i and j is also equal so it is clearly visible that till j minus 1 all values are equal till j minus 1 index the substring is equal so now i and j th character is also equal which means we have two length we have in total 
टू लेंथ टू लेंथ सो हेयर वी नीड टू प्लेस टू हाउ वी फाइंड दिस इट्स इट्स वेरी सिंपल J is at one index. One index means there are in total two characters uh, because this is zero base indexing. So we just need to put J plus one on a cell whenever we found a similar character. So here the value is two. So let's move forward. We need to increment our i and we also need to increment our J. so i reaches here and j reaches here this character and this character is not equal so this is a crucial point till j minus 1 all characters are equal as you can see but i and jth character is not equal so we will move forward to its previous index to its previous index it will make sense till the end so just bear with me till the end it will make sense so we just need to look to uh, let's suppose this is a we just need to look to j uh, minus 1th position because this b character uh, can be before this so uh, at this this location is 0 so j will jump to 0 now we need to check is this character equal yes it is equal so what's the length j is at 0 so the length is 1 now we need to increment our j and we need to increment our i this character is not equal so we go to this position this position is 0 so j points here and i points here now j will uh, point to j minus 1 but j is already at zeroth position and 0 minus 1 is not accessible so j stays on 0 as j cannot move as j cannot change its position so we need to increment our i we need to increment our i i know it's a bit complex so just bear with with me till the end i will tell you uh, what this is so here the answer is 0 for this the character is not equal it is 0 now i here this character and this character is equal so uh, we have one length then j increments and i increments here we have two length j increments i increments this character is equal length 3 j increments i increments the length is 4 j increments i increment now we are out of bound so the longest uh, the longest suffix is 4 which is also equal to the prefix so the answer is stored at the uh, last location so that's about this uh, test case let me take one another test case so i have this test case let me build an array so now let's start the kmp algorithm j points to zero index i points to this index so we have to check is this character equal so side by side let me write the code if i yet and j yet character is equal string i yet character is equal to string j yet character next we have to place here some value so on this as you can see the answer is one only one string only one length of string is equal so we need to place on the ith location the value will be j plus 1 and then we have to increment our j and increment our i 
So let's increment the values i and j. J here, i here. This character and this character is also equal. What it means is this length and this length is equal. So we suppose this is the ending character. So till here we have two length of substring which is also equal to the prefix. So value here is 2. Let's increment i and increment j. i and j. So here the value is not equal. So we go to the else block. We go to the else block. On the else block, as I have told you, we will look at this value. We will look at this value. So this value and j will point to the a of j minus 1. So j minus 1 a value is 1. So now it will point to 1. So why it makes sense to point to 1? Because, because this character, this is substring, this is the ending and this substring is equal, this length is 2 a, a double a and this two length is equal so this uh, this substring last character of this substring is this and the last character of this substring is this so we just move from last character of this substring to last character of this substring so that's it so now j points to one we have to check is a equal to b in this case no j will go to the, this value so its value is 0 so j will go to 0 its value is 0 then j will go to this index so this a and this b is also not equal and j cannot look back so if if our j is equal to 0 so we cannot do this operation then we have to do i plus plus else we have to do this operation so now we have to increment our i and the value for this location is 0 so this a and this i and j is equal so we need to put one here j increments uh, i increments the value here is 2 j increments i increments so 3 length and 3 length the value here is 3 j increments i increments the value here is 4 j increments i increments the value here is 5 j increments i increments value here is 6 j increments i increments this character and this character is not equal this is a crucial point so let me erase the unnecessary data now this a and this c is not equal this a and this c is not equal what it means is till j minus 1 till j minus 1 all characters are equal how let me verify this so before that we have this substring and as you can see this a a b then triple a so as you can see this string uh, triple a b double a and this string triple a b double a is equal so we are sure till j minus 1 our length is equal just this j -th character is not equal so we look to the j minus 1 -th position and we go to the previous location of this position so now we are at this location 
why it is necessary because this AA is also equal to this AA. So now we just need to check is our A equal to C? No, it is not. Then we move to this location. Its value is 1. So J will jump to this location. Why? Because this double A is also equal to this double A. So this value and this value is also not equal. So J will jump to this location. J is at here. This value is also not equal to uh, this value. So we need to place 0 here and move forward. A and A is equal. Value is 1. Go to next location. A and A is 1. Value is 2. Go to next location. So only double A is equal to double A. So the answer is present here. We just need to return the last value. So uh, this is about the algorithm. This is not a complete algorithm. This is just a part of the KMP algorithm. It is called LPS array. The array name is called LPS array, uh, which is means longest prefix suffix. And in our problem, we just need to find the LPS. So you can apply any algorithm. So let's code this. First, we have n and a array. The array um, actual name is LPS. J points to 0 and i points to 1. We don't need to increment every single time. We have a condition for that. If our character is equal, then first we need to store some value, then increment j and i. If character is not equal and j points to the 0 location, then we need to increment our i pointer as we go to the previous location and the end, at the end the value is stored at the last location so that's pretty much it let's give it a try and let's talk about time and space complexity in this question the lps the kmp algorithm will take order of n time and the space is also order of n the code is given in the description box so if you guys have any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up to motivate me subscribe to this channel and thank you all for watching